So I'm going to call it to order at uh, 3.34 p.m. Did everybody get the minutes that Lynn uh, emailed out like a week and a half ago? Yes. Everybody had a chance to look at it? Yes. Um, I need a motion to approve. Mary Ellen, I'll make the motion. Second. You guys have to unmute yourselves. Okay, Heidi. <laughs> Oh, all in favor, I got to take a roll call. Mike? Yep. Uh, Stan? Yes. Mary Ellen? Yes. Heidi? Yes. Uh, and, uh, Lynn? Lynn, you have to unmute yourself. Bruce also says yes while you're waiting. Okay. I was unmuted before. Yes. Okay. All right. You got the vote, so. Yeah. Oh, I have to? Uh, I say oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you abstain. Well, they're fine to me. All right. <clears throat> um, I'm going to take uh, the agenda out of order again because I just yeah so the update on fundraising you did you get any any more um have you gotten any more applications for the spines no okay. so it's the same as last month right yes pretty much what about lead did they uh, nick did they figure that out or dan did they have they finished it and are we going to get the gold or what's up it's actually, it's still under review. Um, I checked in with the, the green engineer. The final review. Is that Chelsea? It is. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, welcome back. Thank you. Um, so the uh, final review was submitted, I believe, on May 21st, and it's a 25-day review period, business day. So we're expecting to hear back, I think it was June 26th. Okay, holy crap. Two and a half weeks from now. So you're saying about June 26th? Yes, we'll have a final um, answer. That's your final answer. Okay. Um, technology update. The only thing I can think of is Lynn has Tony from the police department configured the, the key fob access, um, system to the door. I don't know what door you call that. Is that the Northeast door? Nor I'm yeah. not sure what we call it either. Um, I'm not sure if he's all done with them. I'll have to check. All right. Cause at the last meeting you said that all the fobs were turned over to him. No, I think I think we have about a hundred, and we okay. turned twenty-five over to him. Okay. So there's no word or no update on fobs. Um, signage, Heidi. You want to take that? You're muted. <laughs> yes. Um, she, uh, Signature Signs has submitted everything to the zoning board and the zoning board has not made any uh, virtual meetings. So the meeting for the Potter School sign, which was May 20th, has been moved to June 26th because um, they want to do it in person. So she was going to be asking for the library sign as well but we haven't been assigned a date yet. So they're starting to do uh, Zoom meetings now. They're doing one this week and probably next week. Oh, good. Is that the sign in the window at the library? Yes. Okay. It's the one that, it's, uh, it's a tweaked one from the one she showed us. When she came to the meeting. That had the two different coloring letters on that sign. Right. The mock-up. So you're been... waiting to, to be assigned a date, Heidi? Yes. Okay. I'll check. Okay. I have paperwork. 
landscape. Uh, you want to yeah, take really. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't Do I know. Have to pick somebody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's been discussed on landscape recently, but I can give an update that uh, paving um, the walkway to Cross Road should start the second half of this week. Paving yeah. of the walkway. Mm-hmm. And we'll on be Cross Road. Where? Meandering path. Oh, yes. the meandering yes. path. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so that paving is supposed to start the end of this week and carry into next week. They're going to be doing. They're going to be doing grading at the end of this week, and then they're going to be getting ready to pave it for first thing next week. So is it safe to assume that by the time we're ready to open, that'll be done? I don't know when your opening stand. We'll make we well the starting phase two today, I believe, in the state, but that. that Phase, that second phase only allows us to have people come in and go to the circulation desk rather than picking stuff up in the entryway. So it, it'd be at least another three weeks probably. Before. Uh, well, it should be done by the end of next week. Of course, the grass won't be grown immediately adjacent to it, but okay. the work will be completed at the end of next week. Great. If I was Go ahead. Okay, Sam, I'm sorry. No, I, I was concerned that uh, the shape it was in, that we probably wouldn't want to open the building until that work was done. So that's oh, good. Well, that work won't interrupt. Okay. I missed the meeting when we approved that. How much is that costing us anyway? Uh, was that the 11, like the 11, th Almost 12,000. Yeah. Just yeah. twelve thousand. Okay. Are we out of money yet? No. No, uh, we got plenty of money. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going on vacation. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> one thing that came up with the landscaping, and Joe was pointing it out to me, is that the uh, down at the sidewalk on Cross Road, that the strip between the sidewalk and the street has the meadow grass in it. And the strip on the meadow grass side has like short long grass. It's uh, they're flipped. It's, they're in. They're supposed to be in the other look. You know. So I the, 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 I meadow, the, hmm? the meadow grass should be on the meadow grass side. Right. I went by there today, and yeah, I at, at this point I don't. It, I don't think it particularly matters what is on the sidewalk. It's got to be cut. Oh yeah. I think that Nichols, I spoke to Jeff about this because um, Joe let me know as well. And he's going to have Nichols, we we're pretty sure they planted the right grass. Um, they just didn't cut that strip when they did their last mow. So they need to come back and mow that strip of, um, next to the sidewalk. Um, as for the meadow, Joe was concerned about the height of the grass there. Um, so it does call for the grass to be cut once in the spring to six inches high and then again in the fall to 12 inches high so it's only getting cut twice a year that meadow and so that grass is going to stay as high if not higher than it is currently uh, if we follow that plan yeah i think there might have been a, one additional cut this first summer uh to help with the establishment uh, but essentially that is the practice. I have a uh, couple of questions. I, uh, regarding the grass, I went by there the other day. Everywhere where the grass is high, that's where it'll be like that all the time, correct? Even in the back of the building on the side, correct? Yes, except for a strip in front of the sidewalk that they right. did. Okay. Yeah, I was under the impression wherever it was that they laid sod, that gets cut. Everything else doesn't. Okay. And then the other question is that area between the parking lot and then the road in front of the building itself, that little uh, drain over there, we have mulch in there now. Will that stand up over a period of time? I would think with any appreciable rain or anything like that, all the mulch will get washed out. Is that supposed to grow in or is it just supposed to look like that? Are you, ta are you talking about the 
uh, the depression between the drive and the parking area. That has Correct, the where the bridge tunnel. goes over. Right. Yeah. That's, that is there to filter the water. That's right. a rain garden that will grow in eventually. Right. Um, and look like, you know, an unorganized mass of green uh, that's designed to take the, the rain water and filter it before it gets, goes into the ground. So it'll, so it'll grow in and you'll see the water going through. That, that's fine. I'm just curious, that's all. Yep. We got, we got multiple, fact, a lot of we, places. We, uh, Nick, uh, remind me to send me an email to remind me to send, uh, a, a, you, you should put a sign out there, you know, saying it's a rain garden and, and explain what it is. It's a great educational tool uh, that the kids can learn from. And they make these nice signs explaining what a rain garden is. Um, I would recommend you do it because you'll, you'll, you'll get people who think it's not being maintained when it's, Wait. it's already been already caught. They're already saying it's not maintained. Yeah. They're, they're talking about the meadow. Yeah. Which I the, the an explanation. Yeah. Well, the area where the, where there's, it is a lot of mulch in that property is all that except for the, the, except where the mulch is in that little drain, does all that other mulch have to be refreshed every year? Because it looks like you got about 20 yards of mulch out there. It's at a least, lot. At least 20 yards. Okay. There's a lot of landscaping on this project. You know, so, we, we said from day one that, you know, hopefully that a women's group or a garden's group or a men's group uh, will, will, you know, love the building and, and, and want to maintain what you've been given. You've been given a really uh, unique set of plants that enhance the building. And if they're not maintained, they're going to look like crap in three or four years. Well, that's why we mentioned low maintenance. And I didn't know, because that was our biggest thing on everything on that building. Was, and the, what was everything on that building's low maintenance, but the landscaping. Which, now, from a, from a, well, in fairness, from a, uh, Mo standpoint and things like that. It's low maintenance. There's not a lot to do that way, but you know, there's going to be weeding that needs to be done. There's going to be uh, mulching that needs to be done. Uh, there's going to be things that overgrow that need to be trimmed. I mean, that's just a normal everyday thing. You remember the plans? Do you remember the plans, Mike, with the going towards part of school with all those plans? I remember, I remember a lot of things, Dan. Trust me. Well. <laughs> Right. So I'm I'm wondering, Lynn. I don't want anyone to have any amnesia. Uh, oh no! Listen, I'm never mind. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Lynn, is that something that the friends of the library um, could do a, a smaller group? Do you think there's membership on the friends that are have a green thumb? I could always check with them. Isn't there a garden club that meets at Southworth? Yes. Oh, maybe they'd have interest. Yeah, I think there's Buzzards Bay Garden Club and there's a New Bedford Garden Club. And my mother was the, a member of the New Bedford Garden Club for years. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which group is still using Southworth, or maybe they both are. Deb, we couldn't hear you. Deb, you're muted. No, she's not. Oh, she's not. Yeah, she's muted. Sorry. Oh, so, yeah. That, um, oh, Deb I'm is. Sorry. Yeah. That's said, Lynn. So, uh, Chelsea or Dan, do you have a source for those signs? Because I those educational rain garden signs, because I think those are really important to put up. And yeah. we, we'll take the action item on that. Okay. There's one of the Audubon, Mass Audubon sites. It's in it's in Boston. It's about a half a mile off of Blue Hill Avenue in Mattapan. They have a rain garden there, and I think they had signs. Yeah, I'm not, go I'm not going into Mattapan and checking those signs. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll wait for a month. I was going to say you might want to call Mass Audubon and ask them. No, I, I, we, we have perched them for the projects. I'll just, I'll just go through the files and find one. Oh, okay. And, and we'll run it by, uh, we'll run it by Gigi to make sure it's the right type of rain garden. <laughs> Uh, question, that drain issue, that's all set now? The water in the basement, we're good? We're and that good. would fall under the construction update and discussion, which is next on the list. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Uh, we uh, have had quite a bit of rain since we repaired the 
uh, problem. What was the problem? The problem was that the conduit, well, we believe the problem was the conduit going from the transformer to the uh, basement was, was acting obviously as, as a, a pipe to, with water. And the, the pressure of the water was so great that it went under the building and up and out of the transformer mic. Uh, where did the water come from? Um, we believe the water came from the joints on the pipe because when we uh, when we we shut the building down once, okay, and we sealed all the pipes. And when we sealed all the pipes, and I mean we sealed all the pipes, the next rainstorm we got the same amount of water. So Gene yeah. said, "Look, something's wrong. Either it's ground water or we have a broken pipe." They sent a camera in the spare pipe because they couldn't send a camera in the pipe that has, you know, 480 volts in it. So they spent the camera in the, in the spare pipe and they didn't find anything broken, but they did find a little water in it and we had sealed it. They went in then and dug up the pipes and the pipes did not have pipe glue on them. So they never were melted together and the water was getting in to between the seals. Um, GNR has gone after the electrician for it, and GNR accepted the responsibility and, and, and corrected it. We have not uh, had water since. Did, was the water going through the conduit that had the electrical cables and everything going through it? Yes. Or, yep. cause when we talked about that last time, and again, I haven't been to a meeting a little bit I, when we discussed it. Uh, you were hopeful that it would be the vacant pipe because you said that it was going through the other one, there was the potential of having to hook all of the electrical. Yep. So we did. We, we shut the building down for a week. Yeah. And we pulled and we pulled them and yep. we rerouted them and we re, we redid the entire thing. So the the condo, the cables were taken out of the pipes. And the new pipes were put together and the cables were put back in the pipes. Any potential for damage that might have been done while this was yeah. getting water in there? Okay. Inside the building? Yeah, anything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, all this, all the sheetrock that got damaged that could become a potential mold problem was removed and replaced. Right, but I'm talking about the electrical stuff with the no. water going through. It, because my concern is, like I said from day when we started, this is okay. We're good now. Down the road, after you guys pack stuff up, is there a potential issue for us to have to deal with? Not, not on the electrical side. I don't believe so. We don't believe so. No, I mean the, the cables are the cables are encased in. in uh, no, no, I know, but they're not meant to have water running through them either. And, and I, well, and they, I there, there was no water in the cables, Mike. The cables there themselves a, are encased in oh, a, no, no, I, in I a get area. That. Right. So those cables were pulled out, cleaned, and sent back in. The right. Of which were removed, cleaned, right. and re put 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 together. Okay. All right. Yep. And and rerouted, I might add. Yeah. <laughs> That's more important than this. Oh, I, believe me, there's a lot of things more important than this. He's one of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I get it. It, it just, it's amazing all we went through with this and the bad press we got, you know, from it, from the war. And it just, I don't know, just amazing. Unfortunately, we got, it's unfortunate we got bad press. I, 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 well, it's I, unfortunate I, it happened, which caused a bad press. <laughs> oh. That's what it is. You know. A million parts and pieces in that building. You know, um, There's not a lot of, uh, I don't want to get into it. Um, okay. While we're talking about the building, at the last meeting, um, Bruce had asked about the the small meeting room. There right, the window. Leak, mm -hmm. A window leak in the small building, the small meeting so room. The question was, the question was, was the leak coming from a window being left open or was the window or was it leaking because the window was installed improperly? Right. Um, G and I went back and and corrected everything that was there, and they still maintain it was a window left open. I know that Bruce isn't happy with um, what, the way that the um, felt paper connection goes at the bottom of the shingle because um, it has the potential of curling. Uh, he talked to me about that. I don't know five or six weeks ago. Uh, and that was transmitted. Who's got the dog? That was transmitted. That was transmitted to um, uh, Conrad. But uh, I, I, I don't know what, if anything, that we can do about it now. 
is the, how is the floor having not been up? I mean, I think that I have, been, I haven't been in the I haven't been in the building since since COVID started because I thought right. it was closed. So and I, I think that saying that the window could have been left open, the the building's been closed in essence since March. That was discovered early COVID. It was not nice enough to open windows then. So I think that that's kind of a uh, inaccurate. But has anyone said anything? I know there was issue with the the floor had gotten wet. There was concern about the floor. Nick, did they, do you want to give an update on that? So Jeff, I mean, they fixed the drywall in that room um, and cleaned it up. Um, there is still a slight, very slight discoloration in the floor. Um, and it's slightly uneven. Jeff has maintained that the drywall wasn't their problem to fix and the floor wasn't their problem to fix. Um, I've pushed on him to sand the floor and fix the issue and he's not willing to budge. Um, the, when we did originally have the leak, it was in the early spring when the library had just started open. It was before lockdowns and that's why they, they think the window was left open is when the library was first, first opened. Tell Jeff. Hang on. Tell Jeff I've got pictures of the, the, the plywood exposed. There was possible water. It, so either way, 50-50. Was it the window open or was it the leak that was there? Where I've got pictures of where they put the caulking to try to figure out how to stop the seal. So he's already admitted guilt by trying to fix that. Push him. I, I'm sorry. Get it fixed. All right. I'll push on Jeff. I believe Bruce has spoken. Yes. <laughs> yes, Oz has. And, and Jeff made it very clear that he was a town resident and wanted to go, make good on this. And Hey, I got I, I, I to tell you. Not you know, looking good. I happen to I happen to think they've done uh, an admirable job of coming back on things, uh, especially related to uh, especially related to uh, landscaping and uh, you know twice coming back and removing the wires to do the power. I'll tell you what, I think, I think Bruce should get a cut of the project manager's fee. <laughs> yeah, but I, I will tell you that the... Um, with project the, manager was making more than uh, minimum wage, we would do that. But then I'd be... Yeah. Hey, I, 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 I'll, hey, I'll be quite honest with you. I don't know, their minimum wage was... I know, good. you're not happy. No, no, what no. About, I mean, the fact that, that when they had to dig up those pipes, that it was more than just a little, oh, oops, we forgot to unglue them. Uh, we forgot to glue them. That was a, a bit of a mess. That uh, should have been done right the first time. I am not not going to say that uh, it shouldn't have been caught. It should have been caught. You know, there's a lot of things we did catch. Uh, there's a lot of uh, design issues we caught. There's a lot of construction issues we caught. We don't catch 100%. Right. Uh, it is an extreme. I told you guys from day one that this was a watch. This building was being, you were building a watch. This isn't the police station, which is a utilitarian building. This has a lot of parts and pieces to it. That one should have been caught, Heidi. You're 100% correct. I'm not denying it. But you know, Dan, the things that we're having issues with probably aren't uncommon to what the police station is. Windows, conduits. Right. They have the same, they have the same uh, 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 parts as what our building does. This isn't like something that is unique to the library because the library going bad. It's, these are just basic construction things, any building. So it doesn't matter whether it's the police station or the library. I, I, I respectfully disagree that, I respectfully disagree that the library is anything close to the police station. Right. I'm not saying right. that it is. You're, 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 you're talking a apples and oranges. Even the type of uh, electrical service, you're talking the window types, everything in that police station is different than what we have. And I will tell you, they had issues also. We just don't know. I didn't attend those meetings, but I've heard they had lots of issues uh, and they continued and they're just getting resolved. They just haven't been made as. They're not, public. yeah, they kept it quiet. So. They kept it quiet. No. 
So I mean, I don't, I don't want to go. I mean, shit happens. And I, and I change the schedule. Way lower than that change order. Percentage. No, I know. We need to. We way need to lower. Move on from this. The building is built. It's beautiful. Um, I think everybody's itching to get back. You could tell me I'm wrong, Lynn, but oh. Oh no, I think everybody wants um <laughs> everybody wants to get back. So they're really, you know, I, I think the only thing that they're really gonna complain about now is the height of the grass. They're not gonna get yeah. it. That's okay. Yeah, we started curbside service last Monday. Phone did not stop ringing all morning. And you know, now that there's staff answering phones, it's it's constant, pretty constant. That's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. So do we have anything more on the construction up? Thanks, Kelsey Brooks joining. Oh. Yeah. What? I don't know. But I, feel out, I feel outnumbered by the number of books on this. I don't thing. know. I don't know why Kelsey has joined this meeting. I think she's in the wrong meeting. <laughs> yeah. She's a street fighter. <laughs> um, Anything more on the construction update? That was pretty much on. Uh, the flooring is all done, correct? That it looks beautiful. No, I removed you. Oh, you were Kelsey? Kelsey's used my computer. Okay, so sorry. Come on again, <laughs> I'm <those> gross. Oh. <laughs> oh, did we tape this meeting? Right, yeah, well. really. So how about the floor? The floor is all Being set. recorded. Yes, the floor is all set, right? Yes. Glenn and Nick, and it's beautiful. I believe Bruce is happy with the floor in the main room. Bruce, are you happy with the floor in the main room? Yes, absolutely. Yay. All <laughs> right, so that's pretty much it as far as the construction. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, again, I went by today and I noticed the planter. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a big ass roundy thing, but it's We're being reported, Suzanne. It's all right. You can say ass. Um, uh, for some reason, I thought it was going to be bigger and like round, <laughs> not, not square. Well, I can't make this up. Building. But I mean, it was $900. I'm sorry. That that planter that was cost $900? is crazy. The, that's yeah. not what I expected for the, the amount of money that we paid. Who, who, who bought it? I don't know. Somebody ordered that, Nick. I didn't order it. I know, but somebody, who ordered it? Well, it was bought through GNR. Um, I think Chelsea did G two select the planter. Yes. Oh, it's boy. square. <laughs> it's square. I thought it was supposed to be like a round, like um, like on a pedestal type oh, thing. Yeah. That looks like something you find in a doctor's office. No, no. I, I mean, you you literally you could probably get a Mini Cooper through it. Yeah. There isn't a curve. No, we here. looked at an option with more planters, but um, I think it was VE due to cost that, and the thought was that it, to solve the problem of any cars going across the bridge, that one planter was sufficient. Unfortunately, I don't think there was ever a circle planter. Okay, let me just say this. For the amount of money that was paid for that planter, I think we got hosed, and I'll let it go at that. Next item. Did it come with plants? There's plants no. in there. Joe did that. Ah, that he makes put the it plants even in. Worse. <laughs> and he, he says he doesn't have it actually on the bridge because it's so heavy. He's concerned about the bridge holding it up. Yeah, no, it's just before, which is fine. Yeah. Which is fine where it is. I just thought it was, I just thought it was like this and not like this. I didn't get to see it, but when you say just before, is it? in a, a spot where it's, it's going to be. It's in the middle, but it's, uh, if you come from the parking lot to walk over the pedestrian bridge, it's in the middle just before the first wood plank. So it's not on the, in the middle of the pedestrian walkway. So is it in an area that's going to be plowed? No, uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, the idea is to use it to, to stop somebody from deciding that they think they can drive the car over the walkway. All right. What's next? We don't have any change orders, Nick, do we? Well, we always have change orders. We have new. Dang. Well, let's do that. Approval of change orders. We're down to two. Well, let me pull up my screen. Right here, Nick. See? That's it. 
What do we got left? <laughs> so GNR submitted a PCO late last week. I will give you a nice got to submit. Or we had to put some Unistrut framing okay. for the projector in the community room. Um, so we did it on TNM and they completed the work a while ago, you know, back in October. That and was the extra bracketing, right? Because of the weight of the thing. And then I, we also asked them to order extra cakes yeah. of tiles for, um, for, for what? An extra case of ceiling tiles. Okay. So he submitted the cost at 2000 Forty-seven dollars, but it came out of the blue. Um, so I, I cut two of the four attic stocks, and I cut some of the hours he had, and I got him down to fourteen sixty-five from two thousand. Can you put? Can you share your screen, or is it not letting you? It wasn't letting me. Who's who's got the control here? Here we go. So here is the, here's our contingency. Um, the last change order that was approved last meeting, that was the bond and the pathway. That's our contingency left. And we have the ACT attic stock and the projector framing. So he just submitted, resubmitted the price like 10 minutes before the meeting. So it's at 1465 now. For this item. Um, they did the work. But they were really... Ready? What was that? Not two thousand, right? It's fourteen sixty-five. Right. All right. What other outstanding PCOs do we have, Nick? That's it. Besides, we're we don't have a solution for the snow guards on the <laughs> TV. So Yes, I can hear you now. So of the twenty-two thousand four hundred sixty-six dollars and seven cents remaining in contingency before the pending um, PCOs, the actual um, pending is what uh, sixty-four sixty-five, right? And if you subtract that from the twenty-two, it's actually going to leave us sixteen thousand one dollar and seven cents. Would be the new figure. Sounds right. I think we should have a drink afterwards. <laughs> How many cents, Sue? Uh, seven. So it's sixteen zero zero one oh, oh seven. seven. Correct. Okay. And then, is there anything? Do we uh, now? What happens now? What happens now? Is that like it? And. Is that all we think is going to be left? Yeah. So. It should be yes. I we don't unless you want to change anything. No. Yeah, I want to change that stupid pot. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a nice pot, but yeah, I'm scratching my head on that one. But anyway, so does that mean? If we actually have money left over in contingency, we're under budget. I'm, I'm trying to head on. I'm coming. I think that's exactly what that means. I'm coming now. Okay. 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 Bye. So we can hear. All right. So I, nobody wants to answer that one. I said. Oh, I said yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to speak up. Get closer to the microphone. I can yell. That's fine. I don't care. I don't have a problem with that. Just so project. We actually, so we would come in under budget. Thank God. Okay. I have a question. Do we have a working refrigerator for the we, community room kitchen? We should have one Thursday. I thought There's, it was just the refri I thought it was just the refrigerant. Yeah. Huh, it, yeah. It was and it was fixed and then it broke again. And then COVID happened and I made the mistake of when I was requesting them to come back, I didn't specify that it was an emergency, so they did not send 
people to come fix it during lockdown. But they are scheduled for Thursday. How about the one in the kids' room? Is that one all set now? <laughs> I am here. Who's that? Wait a second, wait a second. I, I don't know who that is. Is that that's not Heidi, is it? You, uh, Bruce, you are muted. Hit the space bar. If Bruce is muted, it's probably not yeah, Heidi. My husband and I are in two different meetings. Oh my gosh! Look at everybody. Okay. All right. So, all right. So that is that it. Where did Dan go? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he is. So okay, so we'll get back to this uh the, the contingency. What else is left? Other than the grand opening discussion. Have you given any thoughts to that, Lynn? No. I don't think so. Not with the COVID still right an issue. <laughs> all right. Is, all work, is our work done now that the budget changes have been done or what do we have for us as a group I, I i i don't really think you guys need to meet but maybe one more time to clean up the last yeah this last pco, PCO. yeah so that last PCO has to become a change order so that it becomes a, a document. And a, a, you guys don't sign that anyway. Sean does. Right. So I'm not so sure that you guys need to do anything else uh, other than, uh, you know, maybe we should, we should probably meet in a month and make sure that the path is acceptable and we can give you an update on the floor uh, and whether you want to, you know, to see where we've gone with GNL with the floor. And if you're not happy with where we've gone with GNL with the floor, we have to make a decision on whether we want to make a claim against GNR. The floor, you mean the floor in the small meeting room? Uh, the conference room. The conference room, okay. All right. So if, if there's an issue with that at some point, does that just get turned over to the town to deal with? Yeah, I mean, it, at, some po at some point, it becomes a warranty, all right? So, um, for example, if, if, if one of the lights goes down, Mike, uh, ballast goes on it, and it's 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 before a year is up. It's a warranty issue. You, it, it become it's not a construction issue. Right. So you, you you've got you've got a you got warranties on a whole bunch of things in that building, but you got a warranty on everything for a year. No, that year started in October, correct? Uh, certificate of substantial completion. I forget the date on it. It was I think. around October seventh or eighth. Yeah, yeah, October 6th. Yeah, yeah we, we only have about four months left in our warranty, five months, that's it. Well, I, I, I do think it would be important for us to walk with the contractor in September to make sure that there's, right. that we're catching anything that could be a problem because they still own it. So um, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, Nick, and I, and I'm sure we'll have some stragglers um, from the committee that wear baseball caps, walk with us about a month before the <laughs> so um, he looks a little too comfortable he looks way too comfortable <laughs> uh, but I, I, you know we, we recommend that on all our jobs Mike so we, you know um, you, you, you'll be happy to know that you have a payment and a performance bond on this job and if something was really bad you can claim on that for a number of years it doesn't end after a year right but I want to say that, that the floor is a construction issue not a warranty issue evidently because of the wall well, well, well that, that's what that, that's what bruce is saying right so, uh, oh, i think bruce's word for it but that's that i mean that's fine that you can take bruce's word for it but that doesn't mean it's right he's uh, been right so far but anyway that's not the point my, my <laughs> has he not he, he hasn't been wrong yet but my his, his oh my, that's not true uh, he's, he's not right. perfect he, he's darn close but anyway his, my, my whole point being is we're not going to stay together as a committee until all this goes together because this could go on for quite some time. No, oh, this committee's going to disband. That's my, well, that's you, my when's point. Your next, when's your next town meeting? 23rd. 
You should, if it was me, I'd stand up at town meeting. 20th. 20th. Huh? 20th. If it was me, I'd, no, Saturday. I'd, do your, I, I'd do your final report to town meeting on the 20th. No, it's the 23rd. Well, either Saturday. Saturday. It's a Saturday. It's the 20th. What the fuck? Election it's the 20th. The 23rd. Hey, what? You know it's what's being recorded. meeting? Yeah, there is a town meeting. Oh, I'm thinking the election. Sorry. No, there is no town meeting, right? Sorry, there I'm is thinking a town the election. Meeting. The election know, so is the 23rd. The it's town still, meeting yeah. is via Zoom on the tw Saturday the 20th, starting at 10 o'clock. Yes. Oh, It'll be complicated. Good luck with that. It will be complicated. Good luck with that. I hope you're only doing the budget. So at that point, should we, do, should we now do a progress report and disband from there with the town handle any outstanding issues? You still have this one, PCO. All right. I suggest we meet one more time in a month mm -hmm. and then we call it a day. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So that would be, wait a minute. I know you're all going to miss me, Bruce. Is, he's already asked me for my address for a Christmas card. I have it. You're <laughs> muted, Bruce. You're muted. <laughs> Are we talking July 7th? Um, ju now, July 4th is on a Saturday, but it's observed on the Friday. So yes. do we have people going on vacations? How much of that going on week? just yet? I'll be here. Okay. Uh, Does that give enough time, Dan? The seventh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah or would you like it later? Done, we should be done with the with the path and have an answer on the floor. Well, you're saying that the path should be done by the end of next week, right? I said we should be done with okay. the path and have an answer on the floor, right? And um, the only thing is, is do we know for sure that the adding the snow gods to the PV array? You've already, I know that's gone back and forth about the time. <laughs> But do you know exactly what type and all of that? And it's all no. set, and we know that this, in fact, is the cost? No, that's the problem. I don't believe we have a final design on that. Do we, Nick? No. Don't. Right, and who's, who's um, yeah, sorry. Who's that's a, that? That, that's, that's, that is a Conrad issue. That's a Conrad issue, so we oh. need to, all right. I also have both GNR and MV Electric looking into solutions. Um, we're, we're trying to help, but it's it's a tough one. Okay. Snow gods don't want to be close to the edge. Right. All right. So our next meeting is what, July seventh. At three thirty, in person or via Zoom. I think Let's do we, Zoom. I think you ought to make. I think, you ought to make huh? I, I think you ought to make that call when the time comes. You might be. You might be in phase three by then. You might not be. Yeah, because I'm sure we'd like to, you know, actually get back into the building to see the floor and all of that other stuff. So why don't we? Why don't we say Zoom for now? But possibility of an actual building depending upon what is it uh opening guidelines or reopening guidelines is that acceptable okay okay with me okay all right building depending cool All right, anything else? I should let everybody know I'll be retiring this summer. You can't. I am. The no. end, of, end of July. End of July? Are you taking out sick time prior to it or are you going no, all the No, year? no, I don't have, I have too much to do. The house is pretty much sold one day <laughs> and we'll be heading to Southern California. Oh, wow. Now your kids. son's out there, right? All my children are out there. Really? Yes. My daughter and her husband are in LA and my two boys and their wives are in um, San Diego and we have a grandbaby due the end of this month. 
Wow. So. Wow. Well, congratulations on everything. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Mike, you don't have a problem if we use the 17000 left over in the budget to go visit her in five years. <laughs> I, I figured no one would be happy until we get down to zero anyway, so. <laughs> but I'll be here for the next meeting, May, uh, or maybe Zoom. I'm not really social interacting. <laughs> okay, well. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. Sounds good. We can do that. All right, anything else, Thanks anybody everybody. besides? Deb leaving God. <laughs> no. I'll always be here in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got something to look forward to anyway. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Thank you. Anything else? Do I have a um, motion to adjourn? So moved Mary, from Mary Ellen. Second. Was that Mike? Yeah. Yes. All right. So Mike, yes. Uh, Stan? Yes. Mary Ellen? Yes. Bruce? Lynn? Yes. And me, I say yes. Okay, everyone, nice to see you all. Uh, Bye. 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 Ninth, seventh, sorry, seventh. <laughs> all right, take care. Bye. Bye.